Hello my friends of Atari Labs, my name is Romotoya. Please welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, what we are going to do is that we are going to trace water bodies with machine learning using QGIS and Python. Okay, so in the end, the result of this tutorial is that we are going to delineate this lake with a semi-automatic process with Python, scikit-learn and QGIS and some plugins of QGIS. Okay, in order to do that, we start with uh, with Python, with the Python stuff, okay. So in this case, I am using the Docker image. Yes, in this case, I have it already running. Uh, I will remove my Docker, my Hakuchi container, and then I will run it again, okay, using this line, okay, maybe. Um, CLS. Okay, and then this is the line that runs. If you have Docker installed, then you type this line in your PowerShell, and then if you don't have the Hakuchi image, it will download and it will run. Okay, so great. So, okay, this prompt will give you this. URL, URL. So we copy this, Control C, and then we paste this on a new. Mm -hmm. Okay. For this tutorial, I have created a repository on GitHub, so we are going to clone it. So say G clone and that's it this one mm -hmm. and in this repository what we are going what we will find is the input Landsat image okay and some scripts okay you well I have to I will clean this this because actually we are only interested in this one Okay, so kernel, restart kernel, and clear all outputs. Okay, great. So, what we have here is that we are, why we use the Hakuchi image is because it has all the image, all the package already installed, except the scikit-learn, so that's why we have to run this for once. Okay, uh, you can do this as well in your own, Anaconda distribution by installing Rasterio and the Psychic image. Okay, but for our case, we are going to use the Hakuchi image. Okay, so first this will install Psychic image and then it will import Psychic image future. We are going to, for this tutorial, we are going to use the CANI filter, well, the CANI H detector. That is one of the detectors of the Psychic Image library. Um, this H detector is actually very is kind of popular H detector, and it seems that it's implementing QAS. But however, I wasn't successful into um, I wasn't so successful into um, working with that. Uh, so that's why I have done this in Python. Okay, so there were, I think that Orfeo Toolbooks has this and maybe Saga Grass also has it, but I couldn't find it. Okay, great. So it has installed. great so now we are going to open the Landsat image and then we are going to read the blue one the blue band no the red band because it has more contrast on the red band that it has on the green band or no, the blue band okay uh, and this this is really important because actually what you want to do on the edge detection is that actually you are uh, you want more contrast I mean you want that the computer actually see the contrast in order to define an, an edge, okay? So that's why we use the 
red band. And then we use the CANI filter, and the CANI filter has a parameter that is the sigma. Okay, by default, the sigma is one, but this uh, we are going to work with H1 that has a sigma one, and H2 that has a sigma or three. Okay, so this is the noise image, this is the CANI filter, and this is the CANI filter with sigma three that is, for me, that is the most convenient. Why? Because it has the border of the rib of the lake here okay and then uh, i mean you can do this process with can it, with filter one or maybe we can play around with filter two uh, let's see what's what what happens and i hope will you yeah and i think it's the same let's stick with sigma 3 you can play around with sigma 2. Mm -hmm. so we are going then this this filter image we are going to save it as a separate file on the as well on the raster file and then we are going to close it okay so what you what we have created is this t file that we can download we can download and here i strongly recommend you can do this in any folder but i strongly recommend that this download folder okay i will delete whatever i have so and then i will download it again so but i would recommend that you create a folder for the tutorial yeah where you paste here the i'm going to replace it when you paste here on the raster folder the the file because it's otherwise you have to work on your download folder or any i mean you need a folder in order to be more structured on how you from where you read the files and where you store the files because here you're going to find this as well in the description of the post mm -hmm. and here is where we are going to create our chat file mm -hmm. here i have one that is already been created okay i'm going to create a new project here I'm going to okay so okay so now my chip folder is empty and here on the raster file i have the landsat image h okay so let's open this one so here let's open the landsat image h and this is with the candy filter of three this is actually a mono band but i have somehow triplicated the the band in red green and blue otherwise because the the plugin that we are going to use the plugin that we are going to use is the raster tracer okay if you don't have it you have to install it this raster tracer do not work with mono bands it has to be a, a rgb raster file so in in order to do this i have created a fake raster a rgb because actually in every band is the same information okay so this is my raster tra my raster tracer i have to create a new band a new uh, chip file that it has to be multi line string okay i have this in spanish i'm really sorry that multi line string has to be this okay it can be a um, um temporary file that's it we don't need anymore okay multi-line string and then we have here okay so with that we find this we find here that we have our raster tracer this has to be selected this has to be selected and then we and then we have to it is will be better to do a full zoom of our to do a full zoom of our lake yeah and then we can do this we go 
to raster tracer we select one place here and look what it does okay ah okay we we need some parameters first we need to trace a color because this is actually is looking for a color so in the color we are going to capture because we want to trace this color okay we can take this out because for i don't know because we might need the full extent like the highest degree of certainty well it's really up to you if you smooth or if you don't smooth this okay look what it does okay maybe the symbology has to be a little bit more clear okay And actually, this has really a great performance into the fine and the water body because the this this trace this tracing is really 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 easy. Okay, it's really easy and it delimitates the water body in without making so much errors okay okay i wanted to do this as an automatic process however i realized that the canny filter do not give us uh, continuous paths, I mean it always have gaps like this one, so that is why uh, it has to it has to be mixed in between the the manual the manual digitizing of these gaps plus the the trace the tracing of the from the plugin. Mm -hmm. I can go here, look here here and then right click that's it if you want to know and then you want to see how is how accurate is this from the original file we just have to bring this Landsat image and then we, we will see okay that there are some errors here but these errors are in my opinion really belong to the are really related to the resolution of the raster file because here the intensities are different okay if you want you can edit this by by your own if you are working with sentinel 2 you could have better shapes as well but this will be the limitation from a sentinel 2 file uh, but that's it i mean it's i mean the process is less subjective i mean is kind of like you can do this in another uh, period of the year and then you will have a delimitation of the water body with somehow the same criteria because the problem is that one if you do it manually i mean entirely manually one of your uh, like mm, how to say like no person will have the same criteria about how to delimit do the delimitation of these parts so one can come here one can come one pixel down one can come here and so on well this is actually not perfect but this is actually comes from algorithm okay so in and i hope that in the next in the next um, the, in the next uh, for a, for another year the algorithm will have kind of a same performance okay okay and uh, well this happens here but what is happening here is actually a pretty good result um well 
that's it. I have searched about this process um, in another, as another, in like if this process was available and it seems that it's not available. In my opinion, it's not, I mean, it is not that we are doing such an analysis or like coding a lot in order to get this because it's actually manual. Uh, but however, this was not available before. So, and I hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you in your, in your analysis. Just remember that we are Hattari Labs. Hattari Labs is a platform for knowledge sharing. We have an amazing blog, YouTube channel, social network, but we have also some online courses that you can take um, from your own. So we have some scheduled ones and then we have the recorded ones that you can make your payment and, and take from now on. Mostly in Groundwater, Python, GIS, in water resources. So we hope that you are interested and you can be our students in those courses. Uh, besides that, we have a YouTube channel, we have a Facebook and a Twitter account um, by Hattari Labs. And I hope that we can see you in coming tutorials. Um, my name is Omontoya from Hattari Labs. Please have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.